Hey there, in this video, I'm going to walk you through all the new features we have in Soundbridge 2.6.0, including a new video track support, new shortcuts, and the ability to hide track indices. Let's get into it. All right, so the first thing that we added is a video track over here to support video import. To import a video, all you have to do is to drag and drop the video onto the video track. The encoding needs to be H.264 or H.265 or H.266 to have a good experience scrolling through the video. If your video isn't in that format, you can use Handbrake to do this. One thing to note as well is that you can mix and match different videos of different frame rates and encoding styles, there is no limit. You also have a video player widget that you can toggle with this button over here, and you'll be able to scrub through the whole video. It is also dockable, so you can dock it over here, over here, over here, wherever you want, and you can also just let it float. One new thing as well is that all movable elements in the sequencer now scrub the video in real time. So if I move this thing, it will scrub through the video so that I can place it exactly where I want. Same for this, same for the markers, everything. The next update is that we added a linear time mode to tracks and markers, locking their position in linear time and preventing them from being affected by tempo changes in musical time. To trigger it, all you have to do is to click Alt-L if you are on PC and Control-L if you are on Mac like me. Once it's triggered, you will see this clock icon over here. And it also works on markers. We also added an option in Preferences under Sequencer to default all newly created tracks or markers to linear time mode. The new upgrade is that we also integrated a new tempo optimization. Now all the blank space in the tempo track is independent of the tempo blocks, with the global BPM selector determining the tempo automation value for the blank space. Meaning that right now my main tempo is 140, so here it's going to be 120, but in the blank space over here and over here, it's going to go back to 140. Then some new snapping options have been added. We now have one frame, half a frame, a quarter frame, allowing sequencer elements to sync to specific frames in a video. And we also expanded the snap selector to support all of these here. Then another update is that we added a new button that works with the current glue button allowing audio to be pasted from the file browser to the sequencer during playback in real time. So for example, let's just say that at the moment of the bridge here, I want to have an impact right here. What I can do is toggle the glue button over here, select my sound here, play the track and click that button right when I want to paste the audio. And there you go, it's placed exactly where I want it. All right, moving on to the next one, we added some new settings in the options menu. We have a hide track indices over here, which means that the track numbers are now hidden by default. So you would have to use this to show or hide them. So this is what it would do. Then the other one is to hide the video track as well. So here the video track would disappear, but you can bring it back here. Then in the global preferences, we also added this show tooltips option, which allows you to toggle it on or off. So what it would do is if it's on, if you hover over any button, it would show you what it does and its shortcut. You also now have the ability to move any audio, MIDI and automation blocks in the sequencer using the left and right keys. The movement is going to be determined by the settings that you have in your snap selector, so make sure to change it if you want to change the movement. Same thing for the track selection. If I select a track and then use my up and down arrows, I can select different ones by doing so. It also works in the mixer with the right and left arrow. And finally, a lot of default keyboard shortcuts have been added for all track functions and toggling between common states. So on selected tracks, you can solo it by using Alt or Option S. You can mute it with Alt or Option M. You can arm the automatization with Alt, Shift and A. You can arm the recording with Alt and A. You can toggle the monitor with Alt and N. You can also unsolo or unmute everything all at once with the shortcuts Alt plus Shift plus S or M. And for these two, you do not need to select tracks. It will work regardless. And to show or hide command lines, you need to do Alt and C. 
And that's pretty much it. On top of all these new features, we also added many more bug fixes, which you can read all about it in our release note document below in the description. We hope you enjoy this new Soundbridge version, but in the meantime, let us know in the comments if there are any more features that you want us to add. Bye.